Night, dozens of Atlantans turned away after waiting patiently for hours today to say goodbye to Lewis. People vowing to carry out his legacy now that his voice has been silenced. CBS 46's Brittany Miller is live at the Capitol tonight. And Brittany, this is all part of a six day celebration of life. It, it, it really is. And just to give you some perspective, that line that you were talking about wrapped all the way in front of the Capitol, down past around the corner on MLK Jr. Boulevard. But unfortunately, a lot of people were told they had to go home because organizers did cut off that line at 10 o'clock tonight. But you know what? For seven hours today, so many people throughout the community had a chance to pay their final respects to the congressman. And now he will lie in state. In the shadows of an Atlanta street named after a civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, another man of the movement lies in state at Georgia's Capitol. You know, Congressman Lewis, he changed the world. An agent of change, a hero, a servant, and a leader. When you see something that is not right, not fair, yeah. not just, yeah. say something, yeah. do something. The many hats of Congressman John Lewis on full display as his casket now rests in Atlanta. Just wanted to be here one more time to pay my respect for uh, John Lewis. A seemingly endless line of people outside the Gold Dome Wednesday waiting for their chance to say thank you. The public viewing followed a private ceremony in the rotunda. He's just a person that um, I'm going to remember for all the good deeds that he did, the good fight. A fight Congressman Lewis fought tirelessly, inspiring the next generation. Bloody Sunday, he was around our age out there fighting and going to protest. To echo his cries for justice. Get in Trevor, good Trevor, necessary Trevor. Leaders like Congressman Lewis have fought so hard for his entire life. It's our time to take our torch and carry it on. And again, Lewis will lie in state here at the Capitol overnight. He will be taken to Ebenezer Baptist Church in the morning for the last service, which starts at 11 o'clock and, of course, ends a six-day celebration of John Lewis's life. Live in downtown Atlanta, Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News. Brittany, as you mentioned, Lewis's funeral is tomorrow morning at 11 at the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church Sanctuary. And sources say former President Barack Obama is expected to deliver the eulogy. Former presidents George W. Bush and Bill Clinton also expected to attend. Just a reminder, Lewis's funeral is closed to the public. However, you can watch the service live on CBS 46 and by downloading the CBS 46 streaming app.